if there was something what would you say to someone who was sitting on the fence and thinking of doing the course but maybe was feeling gosh dare i what would you say i would just say that i think you'd be very unlikely to find a place that's more supportive and more positive and helpful than this course i really would say that i would just say to them there's absolutely no reason you would need to feel scared or sort of inferior in any way and also that if you're not sure that the course is going to give you what you want there's quite a lot of opportunity to specify what it is that you need and want in the course so that it can be tailored to you and that's what I think is great so I really I would say to someone that I think all the things that you might be worrying about I really think you will find as soon as you start absolutely aren't the case at all really um, that's really helpful to hear I yeah. really do think that I think I, I just think the way you've set the whole thing up so that everybody feels empowered even if they don't know something or they're not sure what they don't know and that people can work at their own pace as well and that you keep stressing that when we're watching each other's teaching it's not we're not there to say what's wrong we're there to help people grow is incredibly powerful and I think it's what we all need isn't it as students of whatever age we need mm. to feel safe to to be where we are now and to be able to then take the next steps um, and not to be not to feel like we're going to be making fools of ourselves or that people are going to talk behind our back is that fear of oh that person's no good actually can't do that it just took me back to my art of teaching lessons at the Royal Northern all about how wrong are you doing that yeah. No, we know more now. If you tell the I person... Was, I said I was never going to do another teaching course where the, that said that, yeah. which is, no, it's not about what you're doing wrong. It's about what you're doing and what you can do differently. Yes. Yeah. No need yeah. to say anything else. Yeah. I think, I think it, people... I know everybody's very sensitive, but I think anybody who's obviously involved in music or the arts is by definition going to be quite sensitive aren't they mm. and mm. and I think the thing is as a teacher you feel sometimes you've got to bluff it out and present this face and I think that's what's nice in this course is that it, it took me quite a few weeks to feel I could do that but you suddenly realize actually you don't need to do it and you start to see everybody else suddenly realizing the same thing mm. and suddenly everybody becomes very real and and that was lovely I wasn't that I was not expecting especially considering we've never met in person but. it's extraordinary isn't it yeah um, it would be really nice to meet in person, wouldn't it? But there is a plan. We're planning. There is a plan. Yeah. I do think one of the things that you should talk about when you are marketing your own stuff is about how caring and supportive it is, because that is such a big feature of what you do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And I think, you know, because of the name that you guys have, there will be people who are going like, oh God, I'm a bit nervous to work with these people because they are high up. And I think because you're so accessible, that's what, that's what makes you such good teachers, isn't it? And it's, so that's definitely something you could let people know, I think. So. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That's really good to hear.